Uh, hey guys, so today we're going to add a couple of details to the walls and the surfaces of our kitchen here. So you might notice that um, mine looks a little different from when I last left it. What I basically did was I just sort of extended this up a little bit. I just sort of like grabbed this whole cabinet and lifted it up a little bit because it looked a little cramped. I wanted to be able to see the wall behind there. I wanted to put some distance there and I also sort of extended out this um, door a little bit from the, from the wall there and also extended the shadows out just a little bit just to give it some extra room here and you'll see why in a second. Um, the idea here is that we've created this isometric grid and we created this isometric environment but there's lots of different ways we can um, utilize the environment and we can use some of the uh, sort of tools inside of Adobe Illustrator to create some 3D objects. Um, so I'm going to get over here to the wall like kind of above the door here and I want to make a, one of those little sort of like kind of kitschy signs that you see at like Hobby Lobby or Target or whatever like that that might say something sort of corny like well, I don't know home sweet home something like that right um but you've you've seen those you've seen those signs hanging out i'm going to use this uh i'm going to use this right here what i'll do is i'll just i'll actually just take this um this home here and i'll just get rid of that maybe i'll do uh kind of a home and then i'll make that home be Something like to be or anything, uh, or maybe even something like uh, an all caps font like Bison. There you go, that's good. Um, and we'll just have that hanging out here. Maybe we'll rotate Sweet up a little bit and just sort of pull it up a little bit here. And we can kind of get rid of this over here. We can sort of all drag this this way and sort of position this a little bit more. All right, so this is an idea. Now, obviously, you do not have to make this exact same poster. In fact, I encourage you to do something different. Uh, maybe you want to make something like, you know, bless this mess or, or uh, uh, you know, k kitchen or something. I don't know, something like that. I, my, um, uh, my mom had uh, a, like a, a sign that said uh, La Cucina, which was like Italian for kitchen because that was my family's whole thing was, you know, being Italian and stuff. That's what we did. Um, all right, so center that. Um, and then maybe if you want to sort of like round out the edges a little bit. You know, in fact, I'm going to like shorten this up a little bit here. It'll still be rectangle, but not quite so. All right. And uh, what we'll do is we'll group all this, we'll, we'll group this text here and we'll make this sign be a bit, um, I don't know, let's, let's actually shrink everything down slightly here. Just so it'll be, just fit a little better. All right. And uh, what we'll do is we're, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just grab this sign. Now, there's the, the way we're going to work, we're going to work with under the effects tool, we're going to work with a 3D shape here and we'll extrude and bevel um, this 3D shape and we'll have it be um, an isometric pointing to the right much like we did the cabinet doors um, Isometric right here. So we preview that we can kind of see how that looks and uh, obviously at this point We want to like, you know shrink down the extrude depth to something say for instance 10 points, maybe All right, maybe even Eight could work and um, press OK. And now as far as this goes, um, as far as the text here goes, and we don't want to extrude that because we don't want it to be like, you know, popping out. We just want it to be sort of painted on there. So we can go to Effect 3D and we can go to Rotate and essentially do the same thing off axis. Um, go to Isometric Right. And you can see that it looks like it's sort of like now stuck to the wall there. All right. So, um, but we'll just sort of like take these two things. I think I'm going to turn this text to white instead of black. All right, it looks better. And um, what we'll do is we'll just uh, select both of these guys here. And uh, we'll center them. Looks good. And sort of center them over the door there. All right. And I could just, if I wanted, I could leave that there as a 3D object, just kind of hanging out. Or I could uh, do what we did before and sort of select both of these and go to Object Expand Appearance. And that way I could sort of create, um, you know, more of a, you know, look to these. In this case, it looks like this is already uh, the darker side here, so that's fine. Um, all right. So um, another thing we could do over here is say, for instance, we could put some sort of, a, you know, kind of canister effects over here. Uh, maybe like some, some little like coffee cans or something like that. Or, uh, or, or like the, the, the flower. The, the flower can. So I'm, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to get my uh, rectangle tool. Once again, I'll just draw like a small rectangle kind of hanging out here. And I'll uh, 
I'll pull the corners in slightly. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this say, for instance, well, I don't know, like I could sample this color here. I'm going to sample the top because this is going to be the top of my can here. And I'm going to fill this up with, uh, say, for instance, uh, maybe a different hue. So like more like a cool, like a blue hue there. And um, under our effects, we'll, we'll, we'll do the extrude and bevel again. So we can go to effect. Um, we'll go to 3D, extrude and bevel. And instead of being the um, isometric left or right, well, this will be the isometric top. And we can sort of preview this and see what this looks like. And uh, you can see that it looks like it, it's a bit of a, just a little like kind of pillbox kind of a thing. Um, maybe I can sort of rotate this around slightly here. All right, that looks about right as far as the being isometric still. And maybe I could even like increase the, the depth. In this case, that would be like the height, right? So now it's really tall. Maybe like 100 might work. Okay, and I'll press OK. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just sort of like pull this up. I'm going to hold down Alt and drag it up a little bit. And uh, that way I have an extra one hanging out here. And I can, I want to say I can like uh, go to the effect and I can go, I can go to window, I can go to a window and I can go to appearance. And I want to say I can find that extrude and bevel and I can actually adjust it here. So say for instance, I can change this to say maybe 20, um, press OK. And then I can change the fill to something a bit darker, say for instance, this right here, and then I can sort of position this on top to make it seem as if it's like a lid. So I'll just grab this and sort of drag this up here, and maybe even just Alt and Shift and drag it to make it look a bit, bit, bit bigger, and so that way we can sort of have it being kind of a, a little uh, flower. Uh, maybe it's the place where you keep your coffee. Maybe it's a cookie jar. Who knows? Um, but we can just uh, grab this right here and um, let me just grab this off the side here and pull this forward so that it's more centered here. Uh, and what I'll do is I'll just sort of scoot this back here and I'll want this to be behind my cabinets here. So I'm going to grab my little cabinets and I'm going to control shift and uh, pull that on top. So um, a fun, you know, obviously our thing to do would be to sort of like create a couple of these. And uh, I'm going to hold down the Alt button here. Uh, first off, let me just grab both of these guys. And I'm going to go ahead and go to, um, I'm not, I'm not going to, ch I'm not going to change the appearance. I'm going to just grab these and just drag them off to the side here. And I'll have them separated a little bit here. I might change the, the fill for both of these, uh, just to make them look a, like a bit different color. Um, so this fill here, I might make it look a little more like a green color. And this right here, I might make it just the same sort of green ish color. So that way it's a little bit darker. Okay, and we could even just uh, alt drag this one over a little bit here. And I just use my little alt uh, control alt, uh, and then I can even activate my grid just to make sure they're all kind of lined up the same here. So, oops, I just that looks about right. Okay, good. Okay, cool. All right, so that's another way of using the sort of extrude and bevel. We can create a couple of different uh, shapes there. We don't have to keep them there. We can move them around later on. Um, and then um, I think my favorite thing would be to create like a little shape, and then we could actually um, apply the 3D effect here. So I'm going to create a couple of things here. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little knife. So I'm just going to grab my rectangle tool, and I'm just going to just create a, a simple little knife here. That'll be like a rectangle. And... Um, and I'll just grab on one of these widgets and I'll just pull that down and maybe just pull this off to the side here. Just grab this one little anchor point and just pull down shift. Um, and I'll just make that a gray color. And you know, let's have some fun. Let's, uh, I'll make this a little bit darker and I'll, I'll grab my um, oval tool. Actually, you know, I'll just grab my, my pen tool. I'm getting really close. And I'll just grab my pen tool and just sort of create a little, and this is, you know, it doesn't have to be necessarily exact. Control click off of that, and um, but I'll just make a a little short rounded shape. And remember, whenever we click on on the, if, as soon as we just if we don't move this at all, we can click once and it'll create a little um, kind of arch there. And I can just sort of lighten that up some with the fill, and it'll look like one of the little Santoku knives that you see um, 
kind of hanging out in. All right, and even though it, it's off by a little bit, as it looks, gets a little more serrated. That's okay. And what we'll do is we'll just um, hold down Shift and click all this, and we'll just um, select all these guys. Oops. Oh goodness. Right. Okay. I'll click all these guys slowly, so I don't activate isolation mode. That's a pain. And then I'll also select this, and I'll just Control G group that. And then we'll create the handle by coming back here, lining this up, making a candle, and sort of like rounding it off on the um, end here. Okay, and we could even um, make it a little bit darker, say, almost like it's black. And um, we can put in maybe some circles to look like the pins to hold the, the handle into the tang. Oops, let's actually grab a circle tool instead. So quick knife, I mean, real, real simple uh, shapes there. But once again, once we Grab this, I'll drag this over here. Um, once we group all this together, Control G, and then select both these. Let me just shrink these down some. Goodness, okay, try it again here. So that's some. I'll just shrink this down a little bit. And then once again, we could apply the effect 3D extrude and bevel, and once again, I'm going to choose isometric top, and uh, you can kind of see what's going on there. <laughs> I might actually change this. Uh, let me just cancel this for a second here. Oops. Oh, something happened. I see. I, I put a little bevel there. I don't want any bevel. Um, let me just cancel this. I'm just going to group this together, Control G, and then what we'll, we'll do is we'll go to Effect 3D. Extrude bevel, and then now hopefully it'll be all of one group. Once I go to isometric top, there we go. And once again, my extrude depth at this point probably should be like five points. That's good. All right, much okay. And I'll just sort of drag this off to the side here, Put that right there, maybe towards the counter, easy access. And uh, next, I'm going to make a little cutting board. Um, I think a fancy cutting board might do might do well. And uh, I'll just uh, make a little square here, make it kind of a cream color almost. Or maybe even like, um, I'll make it like a, one of those little bamboo um, numbers that you've seen uh, at, the, you know, at the store and stuff where it's, where it's sort of two different kinds of bamboo. Let me just make this a little darker. Oh, that's that's the same color as the back as the as the countertop here. I'll make it like really light, and then a little more yellow. Okay, and then what we'll do is we'll round these corners off here. A good deal, and then we'll create some little stripes like so. And I'll just uh, make this a little darker, a little more red. And uh, we can just sort of center these two together. Like so. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this and just alt drag this, hold down shift, alt drag it across, and then control D. Oops. Uh, okay, and then oh, obviously we want to make sure they're all lined up though. Let's just line them all up. So I'm holding down shift while I click on all these and just sort of line them all up. And then we'll once again go to um, object group. And then we can go to window view with effect 3D extrude bevel. And we once again choose isometric top. And uh, that and that looks okay. Once again, I want it to be sort of rotated around like this. That looks good, and maybe have this be like 20 points. 
I got it. Looks good. Press OK. And then we can sort of shrink this down some and fit it next to the knife there. Move this knife a little bit so we can see it better. Okay. Um, all right, Nito. I like that. I like how it's, uh, it's okay. All right, cool. All right, so we've got some. Um, let's do one last thing. Um, we'll go over here. Or we'll make a rectangle. I'm gonna get real close here. I'm gonna go um, to this little area of the wall here. I think a, a calendar might look good, or maybe even a clock. We'll do a, we'll do a calendar, uh, like one of those little wall calendars. And I'll make this just sort of almost white, not quite white, but almost white, like a like a creamy creamy white. I like that, like an ivory white. And I'll, I'll just put in my text. I'll make it April, because we're still in April. And um, you can easily make a grid over here. Uh, if you see your line tool, your line segment tool, hold the button down on that. You can find a rectangular grid tool and just sort of grab that and sort of pull that over. If you want to count how many um, cells are going to be, it actually counts by dividers. So your horizontal dividers, it essentially determine how many rows they're going to be. So if you have five dividers, you'll have six rows. So if you have four dividers, you'll have five rows. If you have six vertical dividers, you'll have uh, seven rows. So you press OK, and so boom, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then we've got one, two, three, four, five. So we've got 35 possible cells, which is going to be more than enough for 31 days in a year. And uh, I'll just pull up the stroke on this uh, and make it bigger. It doesn't have to be like square or anything like that. This is just going to be hanging out here. And uh, you could even like take your April, your month, shrink it down to like just the letter S. And uh, we could shrink this down some to fit right, say, there. And uh, I'm just going to alt drag this across to the center of the next column. Control D until I get it all across there. And then one by one, we can change them Sunday. Here. Right there. Wednesday. Thursday. Friday. Okay, just grab this Wednesday out of here. Okay, cool. There we go. And uh, I'll make this a bit bigger. You know, and separate this a little bit. And um, like I said before, these techniques would be very good for, like, say, for instance, a clock or something. Let me just uh, distribute these. When are distributing a line to selection across the horizontal, pull this down some. Uh, okay, and um, yeah, let me just group all this together. Control G. Once again, effect 3D. In this case, we'll just rotate and um, isometric. Right. All right, oops. Cancel. Let's make sure we have our O2. Okay. Effect. 3D, rotate, isometric, right, and we'll be good. Isometric, right. Okay, cool. And that's actually a pretty good size just for like a big wall calendar, maybe like eh, a little smaller, but they good too. And uh, we just want to make sure that it's interacting with the shadows correctly. So we'll just uh, make sure that's across the top there. I uh, maybe just make it just slightly bit bigger.
All right, cool. All right, good. So we've got some extra little details here. I like that. Oops, hello. What's going on over here? What's all this? All right. Um, I'll get rid of this, and we can basically just... All right, good. Cool. All right, so um, eventually, um, you know, this stuff right here is just pretty simple to make. All it takes is a couple of little effects here. We don't have to spend a whole lot of time um, looking at our map. Um, so that's uh, that's that's uh, always advantageous whenever we can use some of the pre-made things here. And I think a little bit of details here, there. The little details make up a, a you know a nice whole. So uh, very cool. Um, go ahead and um, just you know customize your sign. You can say whatever you want. Customize your. Um, you know, calendar here. You can, obviously, there's a whole lot you can do with the calendar. It needs to have the spaces there. Uh, your knife, cutting board, your little canisters over there, all those things. Uh, you can just sort of adjust those for your color scheme and stuff like that. All right. Well, I cannot wait to see you guys produce. And this will be like, uh, we'll have like two more of these things and we'll uh, we'll, 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 we'll cap it all off with a summative assignment. All right. Cannot wait to see you guys produce. See you